All right, so Anna, we've been following primary night election results. I've been in this uh, studio room at VPR for something like eight hours, and uh, we finally have some results. Well, what are they? All right, so in the governor's race, Lieutenant Governor Bill. Science, 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 science maybe. Okay, yeah, but we're happy to see you. Oh, that's an idea. I'm running for Lieutenant Governor in Vermont. Today we are in a place where the personal often becomes political. When you step into um, any sort of role in, in the professional sphere, uh, women have to strike the right balance between being assertive and um, bold. That I am running as a first time candidate to advocate for the interests and needs of Vermont families and workers. There are expectations on women. If you're too assertive and, and putting your voice forward, you get called the B word. And I mean the bossy, and I mean that other word as well. Um, but at the same time, if you are really sweet and caring, then you're a pushover and people don't take you seriously. So my professional life has been about um, navigating this, you know, very, very treacherous terrain, I would say, to get the right balance. I was born in India. I left when I was seven months. So I'm a proud American citizen of Indian immigrant background. If you don't fit the particular mold of what is an acceptable face, an acceptable body, uh, you will definitely get disparaged. Nice to meet you. In my case, I look young. I'm in my mid-30s. So the first question I've always found is, how old are you? Are you 18? Are you 12? So these, these kinds of things where you're basically dismissed, uh, the content of your words don't matter. It's about health insurance has become so politicized that very few address policy with neutral objectivity. You need tenacity. That's the number one thing, because if you don't have that, you won't be able to move forward. Everyone is going to throw everything at you. I've known people talking about, you know, how dare you? You know, who do you think you are? I'm trying to jump in from India into the lieutenant governor's seat. I should go back to India. You know, how can you do this? We have a pecking order. You've got to go down, grease elbows, and kiss the political rings and go up. So you need courage. Public service has always been something that's really close to my heart, and so I really felt it was important to step into the arena and give voice to those who don't have it and advocate for them.